Hi, this is Hunter with Hawk Ridge Systems, and today we're going to be setting up our machine parameters in the technology database for Camworks. So notice right now, it, Camworks defaults to the sample mill inch machine, and I want to change that to my brand new VF4. So I'm going to click on the Camworks technology database from the Camworks command manager tab. And first thing you want to do every time you get into the technology database, just double check your units. Make sure we're using inches. And today I'm going to be setting up a mill machine, but you can apply the same principle to defining a turn machine, a mill turn machine, or an EDM. So I'm going to define a new mill. I'll go to machine. And I can just edit the parameters for the existing machines or I can come to the bottom here and say new record and that defines a brand new machine. So I'll turn this on to default because I want all new parts to be machined on this new VF4. And I'm going to say this is a Haas VF4. And I can give it a description if I want. It doesn't really do anything important. Um, the post processor, this is crucial. And I'm going to select my Haas VF4 post. And this can be changed in the Camworks interface, but this is the post process that, that is always going to be defaulted to whenever we select this machine. The machine duty, this is whenever I use the Camworks feeds and speeds library, this is a global override that will reduce or increase my feeds and speeds values. Come over to specifications. And here I just need to pull a bunch of information from the specifications page for my machine. So we'll go over here to uh, the Haas VF4 page. This is just on Haas's website. Most of the information I need is right here. So it's a 50 by 20 by 25, 30 horsepower. Let's put all that in. So we've got uh, 50 by 20 by 25 and 30 horsepower and we'll put in our max feeds and our max rapids now we really only need the max feed rate that's the only one that's really important but the max rapids will help to give me a more accurate representation of my machine runtime inside of camworks and if I want to get really accurate I can even put in acceleration rates if I know that data so once again just pulling from the uh, the website here we have a 1,000 inch a minute rapids and then I believe it's 800 and something or 650 inches a minute cutting so we have uh, 650 here and 1,100 now if you have a fourth or a fifth axis to index about you can put that in here um, but unless you use it all the time, I would recommend leaving this at none. And I'll show in a minute that you can actually override this parameter uh, for each part as you require. But if you set it to fourth or fifth axis indexing, then every single time you define a, a restart programming a part in Camworks, you have to tell Camworks which is your rotary axis. And some of my parts are simple two and a half axis work and I don't need to index, so I'm just going to leave this to none because I don't always use my indexer. Again, the average indexing time, this is just for runtime estimates. And we can also set a global rotary retract plane. And this will make it so every time we go to do an indexing move, I'm forcing the software to output a retract move of some distance. And that's all that's really important in here. So we'll go to the turret specifications. And we have a few options for our turret changer types. We can do uh, the turret indexer. This is the most common one. Uh, we also have sequential tool changers and preload tool changers that require a preload call. And we can select a tool crib. This will be the default tool crib used with this machine. And once again, this is something we can override inside of Camworks. And I'm going to say that this tool crib has priority. And that makes it so every time uh, Camworks tries to find a tool for an operation, it's going to look in the tool crib first and try to use one of those tools. It's a 40 taper machine. And the average tool change swap time is 4.5 seconds. Now this is, again, just an estimate for my machine runtime. 
and then we'll go to the spindle tab and we'll set my maximum RPM and that it will be uh, 8100 and if we put acceleration rates in there again that is just going to help estimate our machine runtime and the max RPM combined with the max feed rate is going to make it so a user cannot accidentally put in an RPM or feed rate greater than the machine can handle. I made a mistake earlier, let's put this back to 1000. Uh, furthermore, if you don't like running your machine at the max RPM rate, you can just bring this value down a little bit. I can just say, well, uh, I really don't want this machine running faster than uh, 7900. And that's all I've got to do. Now I'll just hit close and exit the uh, technology database. Now because it's a, a database program, Microsoft Access, I don't have to save anything. Everything is dynamically saved as I make changes. So now if I select a new part, and once again make sure we are in inches, then right away we'll switch to the Camworks tab and we notice Camworks automatically selects that Haas machine for me and it automatically chose the proper post processor and remember how I said indexing is none that's right here and if I did want to use indexing for this particular part I can override that as I see fit and as needed. So we've just discussed how to set up a new mill machine in the technology database for Camworks and you can Reemploy the same principles for defining a lathe or a mill turn or an EDM machine. Thank you for watching.